What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this amazing yeah. countdown in Vegas Pro 17. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started, obviously, right after the intro. So, as you can see right now, we are in uh, Vegas Pro 17 and making an actual countdown in Vegas is really, really simple. So, what we need to do is, first of all, we're going to go to the Media Generators tab. And first of all, I want to mention that we're going to use not regular titles in textbook, legacy text. Now, if you go to Media Generators, if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, as you can see, there is no legacy text. So, in order to get that back, it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys how to get that back as well. So, we're going to go to Options for a second. Then we're going to hit preferences at the bottom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick deprecated features. And right here, we want to enable a legacy text right here. I want to make sure that that one is checked. You want to hit apply, hit OK. And then you want to basically restart Vegas for in order to it be to be applied. OK, so as you can see right now, legacy text is now back. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on here and we're going to drag it onto our timeline. Now we're not going to type in anything for, for text for now. So we're going to close that out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the text layer and we're going to hit media effects. Okay, so then what we need to do is we need to click on Vegas time code. We're going to click on add and click on OK. So as you can see at the very bottom, it shows us the time code. So if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like. So it's basically counting up. We don't want that. So we're going to right click also on the text layer and we're going to hit insert remote envelope and we're going to hit velocity. Now you see this green line right here. You want to basically drag that all the way down. Now, if I go to the very start and right now it's counting down and it's really, really simple. Now, obviously you want a countdown to be very short. I would say from five to zero. Countdown is usually, for example, like five seconds, but you don't want to like count down for like 30 minutes. That's who's going to watch a 30 minute countdown unless you're doing like a 24 hour our live stream or something. So what we need to do now is actually customize this. So first I want to have this nice and big in the middle of the screen. So right here when we have this menu, you want to make sure that the time code format is set to time. And then we're going to leave everything how it is, except the, the horizontal alignment. You want to put that one to middle and a vertical alignment also to middle. So it is nice and centered inside of the screen. Now we also have sample text right here. So we're going to click on the generated media icon and we're going to just basically remove all the text that's inside of this layer. So now I want to also have it a little bit bigger. So we're going to click on the event pen crop icon. And what we're going to do is we're going to just zoom in right here. So it is nice and big. So in order to actually have only like a couple seconds visible, we need to mask off the excess, you know, digits. So we're going to also click on the event pen crop icon. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit mask. And then we're going to just go ahead and pick this rectangle tool. And right here, we're going to select, for example, this area and then we need to basically go ahead and crop it out so i'm gonna i'm gonna put my mouse on this little icon and we're gonna just basically mask off as you can see those digits i'm gonna also do that on the opposite side just like that as you can see, and right now we have a really, really cool, nice countdown going from nine, as you can see, all the way to zero, six, five, four three, two, one, and then the countdown is up. Now, what we need to do, this is a really cool countdown, let's be honest, but let's make it a little bit more epic. I'm not gonna keep it this standard. So what we can also do is add in some fire or particles. I'm gonna also drag that in. You can just download these from YouTube. Okay, so as you can see right now, this is what it looks like, but we also need to also make have a transparent background on this countdown. So what we need to do is go to the compositing mode of the text layer, and you wanna click on add. There we go, now the background is gone. So now what we need to do is just basically like trim it down a little bit and actually like add in some brightness and contrast onto the particles so that it is nice and black. So I'm going to do that right now. As you can see like that, it looks really, really nice. Let's just go ahead and also add in some fire. Okay, so we need to also see through the particles. So again, go to the compositing mode, but this time from the particles track and you want to click on screen. Now, as you can see, this is what the fire looks like. I'm going to also add in a little bit more contrast onto the fire. So it goes to from this to this, as you can see, it looks very, very cool. Cool. Now, the only thing we need to do is add in two more things. Well, two things I would add, which is like some really awesome, like tension music and a really, really low, heavy voice counting down. So let's drag in some like copyright free trailer music. OK, so I'm going to put on my headphones because I want to hear uh, what it sounds like. So let's just go ahead and play it back for now. OK, so this is what it sounds like so far. OK, 
Okay, so it looks really nice, but we also want to have this voice counting down. So we're going to go to YouTube for a second. And we're going to type in the search bar, voice counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a really cool voice that we can actually get. So let, let's just go ahead and download this from YouTube. I'm just going to use YouTube to MP3, just a really simple website. Okay, so right now it's just basically a matter of timing. I just downloaded that uh, uh, sound effect from YouTube. Let's just go ahead and match it up. Five, five, four, three. I'm going to lower the background music just a little bit. Five, four, three. Two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom, and then the counter is up, and that's basically how simple it is, guys. This is how to create an amazing and an epic timer in Vegas Pro 17. It is really cool. Just use the time code, add in some music, add in this voice. You can just use multiple sound effects if you want. You can also add in, like, texture backgrounds. You can customize this totally how you want it. So this is basically how to do it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video, obviously, tomorrow, as usual, on Thursday with a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. So that's it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.